Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. In this video we're going to try out an experiment on social distancing using MATLAB. We're going to give video as input, and we will know whether we're in a safe distance from others or not. So, let's get started. Let's divide and conquer as we always do. First we will know the functions used. Then we detect people in an image. Later we detect people in video. Followed by finding distance between people to check whether they are safe or in danger. Finally, we save all the frames as a video. So without any delay, let's start our video. Let's make ourselves familiar with some functions. First one is insert object annotation function. For input image I, we put shapes gives with given label, at the points given as B box points. To get something like this. Second function is from computer vision toolbox. It is vision.people detector. It helps to detect people. We detect the people in image I with the detector using step function. It gives B boxes which contain initial positions, width and height of the people detected in the image. Another function for similar operation is people detector ACF. It also detects people. Here we use detect function to find people. Next function is vision.video file reader. It helps in reading a video file given. Another function is vision.video player. As you expected it helps to play the video. Here position represent the window starting positions and width and height of the video player. These are enough. Any other functions we use will be discussed instantly. Let's start from the image. Read the image, vision team, available in the MATLAB and display it. They are computer vision team from MathWorks. Forget about them. Now, we will detect people present in this image. Create a detector using vision.people detector. Step the detector on the image to find the B boxes and scores of the detected boxes. After detecting we draw rectangles at that points. Run the script. Oops, our detector cannot detect everyone in the image. Try another image also. In this image also we miss some people. So instead of vision.people detector, we will use another function to detect a people. We use people detector ACF to detect people in an image. Using detect function, we pass the image to the detector created using people detector ACF which gives the B boxes and scores. Now make it in MATLAB. Comment the previous detector we used. Create the new detector. Detect the image IR on the script. Yup we catch them. Check the other image also. We got all of them. These values are the scores of the images. We can also replace them with number like this. Instead of scores here, we give number from 1 to the total people present in the image. We got the numbers for every person detected, don't worry about the order. Check for the other image also. Okay, now we will find the distances from first person to the remaining persons. Remember here we are calculating the distance from person 1 only. We will find who are near to person 1 only. How can we do that? Let's know that. Consider we have two persons, here we represent them using rectangle. Let's consider the distance between adjacent sides is dis1v and the distance between the outer sides is dis2v distance between the top sides is dis1h, similarly between downsides is dis2h. Now make it in MATLAB. Create a loop to check for all available boxes. Now find the distances from person 1 to the person i. Here we take the absolute value because sometime they may overlap, which may result a negative distance between them, so to avoid the problems, we use absolute here. If any one of the vertical distances is less than 75 pixels, and any one of the horizontal distances is less than 50 pixels, then we change the color of the ith person and first person rectangle to red. Otherwise we change the color to green. Finally display the image. 
Yup we got it, we can see the person's rectangle closer to the first person become red, whereas the persons who are far from person 1 has green color rectangles around them. Remember that we are comparing only with respect to person 1. Not every person. We save that for later. We know how to read and play a video. We will read this des.avi file. It's the video of people moving on a road randomly. Read the file into video reader using vision.video file reader. Create a video player using vision.video player. It is plays at 300,100 with width and height of 1,500. While file reader is completed, get a frame from the video reader. Step it to the video player. Release them at the end. Run the script. Sorry it's uppercase P. And here it is frame not I variable. Yup it's working fine. Here the frame rate comparatively high. Now we detect people present in every frame as we did for one frame just before. Create the detector. Change the image to double. Step the image to detector to find the B boxes and scores. If B boxes is not empty, then we put rectangle at every B box points available, along with scores. Now run the script. Yup, it can detect the people, though there are some errors. Change the color and run the script again. Remember, video reader doesn't stop even we close the window, so we have to stop the process manually. Now increase the line width also. Okay it's working fine. Let's move forward. Consider there are some boxes detected like this in an image. Now we have to find who are close to other person and show they are in danger. For check we use this conditions array filled with zeros initially, number of zeros depends on the number of B boxes present in the image. In this case we take 5 zeros. Start with first box. We find the distances between 1 and 2. As they are close we increase the elements corresponding to those positions. Here we increase first and second element by 1. Now we find the distance between 1 and 3. As they are far, we don't make any changes to conditions matrix. Similarly, we find for 4 and 5 also. As they also far from the 1, no changes are made to the conditions matrix. Next we check for 2. We find the distance between 2 and 3. Remember we already find the distance between 1 and 2, so we neglect that. As 2 and 3 are far no changes made to conditions matrix. Similarly, for the 4 and 5 also. Now we check for 3 with respect to 4 and 5. As 3 and 4 are close we increase the elements 3 and 4 in conditions matrix by 1. 3 and 5 are far to each other, so no change is made. Similarly, we check for the remaining boxes also. Finally, if the element in conditions matrix is 0 we consider it as safe, otherwise they are in danger as they close to other people. Now make this whole thing in MATLAB. Make the conditions matrix with size equal to the number of B boxes detected. Create loops to check for every person with others. Here we need two loops, first one gives the reference person. Whereas the second loop helps us to move to check with every other person. Now we find the distance between the ITH and JTH person as we did before. Now check for the distance, if they are close to each other, then we increase the corresponding elements in conditions array. Otherwise we keep it as zero. It's time to draw the boxes around them. If the element is greater than zero then we put red color around it, along with label danger.
If the element is zero then we put green color, along with label safe. Run the script. Thank God. It's working good. We don't say it's working best. If we observe that, it's not detecting properly. We can see that here. Two persons are detected as one. To overcome it, we mention the specific detector here. We also have some other detectors also, try them on your own. It's detecting properly here. Let's move forward. Let's save this frames as video. Here are some useful functions to save video. Video writer creates new video file. Writer object frame rate sets the frame rate of the video. Open writer object starts writing video. Write video adds the frame to the writer object. Close writer object stops writing video. Now write them in MATLAB. Convert the image to frame. Then add the frame to the video writer. Finally, close writing video. Sorry it is write video. Run the script. It's saving the video frame by frame. We find delay in the video here, but there will be no frame drop in the video, as we set the frame rate to 8. After completing the video open the folder location. Here we can find our new video. Open the video. We can see the boxes around people with colors. Red comes when people are close otherwise we have green color. They are some small errors in this model also. Sometimes it shows boxes even there is no one. And sometimes even two persons are close it shows they are safe. So this is a small approach only, but not an accurate model. If you can remove these errors, please let us know in the comments section. It is useful for anyone. Thanks for bearing till the end of the video. If you still have any doubts regarding this, please try to comment or DM to our Instagram page Let's Decode. Please do like, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you and Sayonara.